I'm Sarah Jones. I'm an investor at InQtel. And InQtel is a strategic investor. We're actually a nonprofit, and we support the U.S. national security community, intelligence community, and, and our allies. And we are focused on investing in emerging technologies and bringing those technologies to bear and to further the mission of our partner agencies that we work with in the U.S., U.K., and Australia. We're very interested in artificial intelligence. We've made over 300 investments in artificial intelligence, in fact. We are also in interested in cybersecurity. We're interested in what we call our advanced systems, which is all about manufacturing and robotics, air, space, sea, and ground platforms and technology, as well as power and energy and then other things like critical minerals that are necessary for securing our nation. And then we also look at biotech and life sciences. So I get really excited. I have a background in aerospace and, and defense. So I get really excited about the platforms we invest in, like auto you know, autonomous systems. You know, when we think about the future of, of security and, and even the future of defense, a lot of that has to do with autonomy. So that's you know, that spans all, all sorts of platforms from marine to air. And then I also get excited about space technology. We are seeing great advances in space and we have over 50 companies that we've invested in in space. Everything from connectivity related to, you know, earth observation and more, and in, including rocket launch, we've also invested in that area as well. Yeah, I've met a number of founders at this event, and then we also have a number of investments in the Seattle area around space. Folks like Stoke Space, as well as Starfish Space. So I actually um, have been a big fan of the Seattle investment community and, and have had the fortune of interacting. And then I also, it helps when, when the head of the Technology Alliance invites you. So <laughs> you show up and you participate and it's so good to connect with the rest of the start, startup founders, investment community out here. And I hope to see more of these events. You know, I think in Seattle, you know, there's a great entrepreneurial spirit in Seattle. Like I used to say as a native Seattle, and I say, you know, you've ridden on our planes, you write on our computers and you, you know, drink our coffee. You know, we, we've been kind of the undercover entrepreneurial community for a long time. And we have a growing venture capital sector. So I think we're starting to see a lot more capital come into the Seattle area, which is fantastic. And the recognition that there's an abundance of talent in the area, especially around you know, emerging very important sectors like AI. So it's, you know, while you know, the Bay Area certainly has you know, pound per pound, a lot of capital down there and, and, and is a, you know, kind of the startup hub of the United States. You know, Seattle is really important in a number of sectors, whether it's health and biotech and AI and logistics and, and others, you know, just a great, a great community and, and kind of seed bed that happens that's, you know, coming out of like, you know, the Microsoft and and Amazon and Boeing's, you know, it's been a good foundation for a lot of companies to start here. So we are really looked at, looked at as a trusted partner for the national intelligence and security community for the U.S. and its allies. And so we play a critical role in not only scouting for new technologies and investing in emerging technologies that help secure our nation and for national interest, but we also you know, play a key role passing along insights about what's happening in our startup community in the U.S. and abroad, what the technology trends are. And, and so they, we really help our, our government partners understand what's going, out in the commercial, going on in the commercial sector and startup community as well as the investment community. So that's key. And then our model, you know, not, not only includes that insights and intelligence, but we work with startups in two ways. We make, one, we make, a, we make traditional 
equity investments as any other venture capital firm does. But what we also do, which is really unique, is we make investments where there's a technology development agreement associated with it. With it. And what, we, what that's about is taking a commercial technology and working with that startup to add the requirements necessary so that one of our government partners can actually adopt that technology. And we've helped transfer more than 500 commercial technologies into the U.S. government and allies, really around furthering their mission, furthering the security of our nation, and you know, just making our nation, help making our nation more prosperous through some of those investments. Our platforms that we utilize, you know, whether that's for logistics resupply, whether that's for security, I would love to see really common operating system that allows many of our different types of assets to work together seamlessly. That would be amazing. I think that would go a long way in furthering kind of the security and, and defense of our nation. I think in the startup community and in the OEM community, we see a lot of what we call walled gardens, and I would love to see more interoperability between systems that allows for you know, our end users in the government to be able to utilize assets in a more flexible and interoperable manner. That would be really interesting to me because I like the hard tech stuff. <laughs> I think my favorite piece of advice for founders is really around, you know, you go out on your own, but you shouldn't strike out alone. And what I mean by that is it's really about gathering around you an incredible team that complements who you are as a founder or as a, or as a team of founders. Because the strongest teams are the ones that take good ideas and make them great and are actually able to execute upon them. And the even teams that have the best idea, where the team is, you know, kind of mid or not getting along or not complementing each other, those are the ones that don't end up performing as well. So it all comes back to, to people. So it's really about how do you put egos aside and complement each other and build the right skill set throughout your team so that you can not only build a great technology but scale an amazing company.